Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, this is uh, Steve, and I'm doing a little uh, Drupal tutorial here. It's actually how to install Drupal onto your web server. Drupal's a really um, powerful content management system. It's a lot better than putting just uh, like a static HTML uh, site onto your web, you know, server, and having that. It's got a lot of functionality with it. You can add modules. You can have things like blogs and uh, newsletter, uh, forum contact pages, all this different type of stuff, and you can actually log in and change that on your web browser. So it's something I think everybody should get to know and uh, keep op keep an option open for their web, you know, their website, basically, is using Drupal. And uh, to, to get started, we're going to actually go to the Drupal.org site where I am now, Drupal.org. And uh, on the front page, they actually have the 6.17 release here. And you just go down here and you download it. They actually have this download thing as well. Download link and that you can browse on over to the Drupal core file page where they, they got Drupal, actually Drupal 7 next release coming out. And um, basically you can just scroll down and they have the, the latest stable release here which is 6.17 and then you can just go ahead and download that which I have already done so here are the files right here uh, basically this is all you need right here it's got the include misc uh, modules profile scripts sites and themes and all the stuff you need to get going with Drupal on your website and you basically just upload these to your root file your root folder or a sub or a subfolder on your on your web server. One of the things with um, Drupal is you have to have database access for your website. So if you're just having like a free account, usually they don't do that type of thing. So you got to make sure you're going to have a MySQL, which is right here, database for your web browser, or I'm, I mean your web server. Where, wherever you're buying it from. I happen to have mine at GoDaddy right now. So just make sure you have that. What you're going to do is you're going to create a database. And I'm not going to go through how to create a database and that type of thing. It's basically a really easy process now on most web web hosting services. Uh, you just go in there, you go to MySQL, you create a username, a password. And then basically what you do is you take your username, password, where it's being hosted, like the server name, uh, which you might have to look around on some of these different web hosting services and then the database name you need those four elements for Drupal to work basically on your web server so I'm going to show you a little bit about that when and, and then the file which you have to look at when you're actually installing Drupal so we're gonna look at that now alright so here is the uh, the files again and basically before you upload it you're gonna to have to create that database on your web server and then you're gonna go over to here to what is called sites okay let me move that around there and do that okay um, I'm actually gonna do this and what's gonna be in this gonna be in the default for so on the 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 main Drupal installation folder it's gonna be in sites and then it's gonna be in default so here's the default settings right here. So I'm going to open that up, and it's actually going to bring up my uh, Dreamweaver here. I currently have CS3. So this is how you're going to edit that. So here's the file, actually the file line that you need to edit. So we're going to scroll down here. And this is how Drupal is going to connect to your database on your web server. So what you're going to need from your database that you just created, you're going to write all that information down, is your username. You're going to put that right here. Just basically you can cop copy and paste as well. Then your password. Then your host name. This is where the database is actually hosted. Sometimes it's different from your where you actually have your server. So you're going to have to find that. Might take some digging. And then your database name. So that's basically what you gave it to. So you're going to copy all this down and you're going to paste it right into here as such. Okay. Uh, then you basically save that. And you're basically going to save that as um, settings.php. So just when you, you're you going to save as from here settings and not default settings, which is what it is. Because it's going to look for that settings.php file and not the default settings.php. Oh, and one more thing to note, um, you might want to make sure you have um, 
um, MySQL 5 basically for your web server. Uh, most of the most of the web servers in PHP are updated, so you basically don't have to worry about it. But make sure you have those updated to MySQL 5. All right, now that we got our settings file uh, saved in there with all of our database stuff, we can actually get rid of this guy right here, the default settings. And I'm going to go, yep, get rid of that guy. And now we should be set to upload it to our web server here. I'm going to adjust this right there. So these are all the files that we need now, and we've got everything ready to go, um, barring any you know things we have to adjust. So basically what I'm going to do is go over to here to my FTP client. I've already got it set up um, to where I've got the files here that I need to upload, which is all of these files, onto my web server into a subfolder on my website called uh, Tutorial. So basically I'm going to take all of these um, and I'm going to control A to basically select them all. And then I'm going to just upload them to that, f that folder right there. And as you can see, they're going to go lickety split up in there and uh, I'll just wait until they're all done. Alright now we got all those files uploaded to our web server and we can check that and yeah it looks like everything is there. Look in the modules here. Yep looks like everything is okay to go. So basically what we gotta do now is we gotta go into our web browser. So I'm gonna actually go over to where it's located on my web server and then what I'm gonna do is just put install here. So basically that's all you have to type. I'm gonna hit enter. There in my web browser to see what happens here. Okay, and you should get this screen if everything's right, if your database settings were all right and you've, you know, got all the passwords and things, you know good to go. So what I'm going to do here is go to install Drupal in English because that's what I speak. All right, we're going to let that load up for a second. Okay, and you should get this uh, screen right here. It says initializing and that'll be the setting up all the tables on your database type of thing. Logging module, whatever it's doing, yeah, it'll show you. Okay, so we've got everything good to go here. Um, now we just have to configure our site, so I'm going to move down here a little bit and show you. Name of the site, um, basically what I'm going to name it here is Tutorial. And then the address, which will be me. So you could put your address there. Okay, and then you're going to name the administrator account. So what I'm going to do is just put admin here. And then create myself a little password. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you can't get into my little account there. And then the default time zone, which looks like it's all right. Let's see about that. Yep, that looks good. And clean URLs. This is if your server is test. It'll actually test your server to make sure that you're able to have clean URLs, which I'll talk about later, maybe in a later video. But I'm going to keep that enabled because it's better for search engine stuff, and it makes your site look a lot better. And then I'm going to keep this update notifications checks for updates automatically enabled, and that should be it. And we're just going to hit save and continue. Okay, now looks like everything went perfectly fine and uh, Drupal has been installed on my web server. And you'll get this if you've done everything right. If not, you can look around. There's lots of resources um, on the Drupal site itself. So just do a Google search of what you're looking for, what the error code might be. And there's a lot of people that have probably gone through what you've gone through before. But usually if you've done everything right, you've done the database passwords, everything right, then it should get something like this. And that's all for installing Drupal basically. I just wanted to give you a kind of a, you know, a look into how it is actually uploaded onto your site and installed, which is a fairly easy process. Thanks for uh, watching my tutorial. Uh, basically on the next video I'm going to show you how to basically uh, set up everything on your site. And What I like to do is uh, 